Hello, Patrick Walchuk here, and as we do every month, we've selected a multi-unit building and we're going to do a financial analysis on it. And this is a property that sold during the month of June of 2022. We'll break it down and interpret some of that for you. So this building was a seven unit property and it's in central, central east part of Ottawa. Now it was listed, as you can see, for $3.1 million and it sold for $3,050,000. It had a scheduled rental income of almost 219,000 and an effective rental income of 212,000. The operating expenses were almost $49,000 and then when we add in uh, maintenance and, and management the uh, total operating expenses tow, uh, is $70,000 and that gives us a net operating income of $142,000. Okay, so what? What does all that mean? Well, it means we have a cap rate of 4.7%. Pretty cool. Some of the other movies we've looked at got very low cap rates. Um, operating expense ratio, 33%. Very cool. Uh, we want to see something between 25 and the low end. 50% is too high. So 33 is good or a little bit better than good. And in terms of how much it sold compared to the gross and the net, it sold for 14 times the gross income and 21 times the net income. So again, that's the way an appraiser looks at it. And this other part is basically my own concoction where I see that properties need to sell on average uh, with a buyer being able to put down a 35% down payment in order for them to cash flow positive. So if we use that at 35%, um, the purchaser is going to end up with a mortgage of about almost two million dollars okay now his annual debt service that's just a fancy term for saying what are his annual mortgage payments and they are about one hundred thirty eight thousand dollars so we know what our net operating income our NOI is we know what our annual debt service is and what that does as that leaves us with a positive annual cash flow of almost $4,000. And if you look at that, the when I say that, I mean the down payment in terms of what kind of an ROI that buyer is getting, uh, they're getting about 3.5%. So this is actually kind of good with what we're seeing where it's got a positive cash flow, 35% down. If you have any questions, give me a call.